Amy Rose, one of the first Sonic characters introduced all the way back in Sonic CD, who slowly over time became more and more of a background character as the games progressed. But this year truly feels like the resurgence for Amy across Sonic Multimedia. I feel like the ball got rolling for her in IDW. Ian Flynn and Evan Stanley have both absolutely bullseyed the dialogue for her in their respective arcs. She carries the spunk and passion that fans love, but no longer held back by her fantasies over Sonic that reduced her to an archetype. She shows herself as a capable leader, overflowing with empathy and compassion, and has not lost her ability to kick ass in the slightest throughout IDW. She's brought to life beautifully by the artists that work on that book, and she got some great standout moments in the Battle for the Egg Pie arc this year. Season 2 of Sonic Prime saw so many Amy variants get to interact with each other. Born, Rusty, and Black Rose all were cute renditions and twists on her character, and specifically seeing Rusty and Black become friends was adorable to witness. Hopefully we get to see them do their thing a few more times whenever we get Prime's third season. For April Fools, we got the surprise that was the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, and Amy took center stage in that, the story being a murder mystery party for her birthday. Ian Mutchler was exceptional across the board with his writing and dialogue for this game, and Amy felt so well realized and the artwork helped to bring her to life as well. It's crazy to think that for a character that's been around for over 30 years in this franchise, her first debut in the Genesis era has been this year. First in the Origins Plus DLC a few weeks ago, and in Sonic Superstars coming out fall of this year. Amy is a blast in Origins Plus. She's easily now my second favorite character under Sonic. Her pace of play, the way her hammer is utilized, the way she absolutely annihilates bosses, she's just insanely fun. Knowing she's going to play this well in Superstars has me stoked for that game more than I already was, on top of it just being nice that she's finally joining the boys. This moment has been long overdue, and I can't wait to run through the North Star Islands with the gang later this year. And then we get to Frontiers. In terms of characterization, this has actually been pretty mixed over time. I've always loved Amy's arc from the jump, finally having her grow and have a new goal beyond thirsting for Sonic, and constantly showing her empathy through her interactions with the Coco. But a decent amount of people felt that because of Frontier's tone, Amy's personality was diminished, losing a lot of her passion in the process, and I can definitely see where people are coming from there. This is something that Ian Flynn has mentioned multiple times on the Bumblecast as something he would like the opportunity to fix, and if the DLC 3 leaks are anything to go by, Amy is definitely going to have that spunk adjustment that is more in line with her more favorable adaptations. And again, her being playable in Frontier, she hasn't been playable in a mainline 3D game since 06. I can't wait to see what they do to innovate the 3D gameplay for her, Tails, and Nux. On the horizon, fingers crossed that we also get her in Sonic Movie 3. Alongside Shadow, I think it's also the right time to remake her for the film franchise. Her telling Shadow about the good in people is a key moment for his redemption arc, and I would love if that gets translated into their adaptation of Sonic Adventure 2. It's a great time to be a Sonic fan, and I'm glad that Sega realizes that his friends around him aid in why we love this franchise so much. There was a time where it felt like they wanted to act like Sonic was the only important character in his franchise. But over time, the status quo has slowly started to come back to what it should be, and in the case of Amy and her trajectory, better than what was even established before. Amy Rose is back to her mainline status, and her characterization is the best it's ever been. So let's keep the spin ball rolling. What project are you most excited to see Amy Rose in next? Love y'all. Have a blessed one.